Welcome to this ankle free yoga class. So this yoga class is for anyone who might have any pain around their ankles, whether it's broken, sprained, anything going on. Just make sure that you listen to your body. Don't forget to subscribe and like, it really helps me keep these videos going and I will see you on the mat. Hi everyone, so we're going to start today in a seated forward fold. So you need to put your ankles obviously wherever you're not going to feel any pain. So if you spread them out in front of you, if they even hurt doing this, you can put a blanket or something down underneath your feet just to ease off any tension. Okay. If you need to let them, you know, not in a normal forward bend, we've got them flexed to the ceiling. If they're feeling a little bit delicate, just let them flop open. Okay. So inhale your arms up and exhale, fold forward with length in your spine and just fold forward as far as you can until you're feeling some kind of sensation. So hands can either be on your shins, they can be on the mat, just come forward as far as you can so that you're feeling something. Try and keep length in your spine if you can. So try to think nose to toes rather than head to knee. And come forward as far as you can. And if at any point during this practice you do feel any pain in that area, just loosen off out of the pose. Okay, but we're going to do a very mindful practice today to avoid any kind of ankle movements or ankle pressure. So inhale, come up, spread the legs wide. Let's do the same in a seated wide leg forward fold. If you struggle with this pose, if you're quite unflexible, like me, you can place something underneath your bum. So a towel, a cushion, anything that you've got. You can even roll up your mat and then sit on the edge of your mat. So just inhale, lengthen, exhale, come forward as far as you can. That might mean like me, you're not coming forward very far. You may be coming all the way down. Come down as far as you can, keeping the ankles nice and relaxed. Focus in on your breath. Nice, even in has an exhale. Make sure that you're not holding your breath at all. Looking forward. You're not arching the spine, you're looking straight ahead. And then loosening up out of it. Let's slowly swing the ankles around. Again, just being mindful of the ankles. Let's come over onto our knees. So if you need a cushion underneath your knees, if you're on a hard floor like me, you might want a blanket underneath your knees. All fours. So shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. You just got your ankles raised. Let's do some cat cows. So drop the belly, look in between or push your chest in between your shoulders, look forward. Take a nice big inhale, exhale, tuck the tailbone, belly to spine, chin to chest. Inhale, reverse. Exhale to cut. So just take a few of these at your own pace. Everybody breathes at different rates. Don't try and keep up with me. Take it nice and slow and mindfully. And the next time you come to center, let's take the left hand out a little bit further past the shoulder. The right hand is going to slide underneath the armpit, lower your shoulder to the mat, take your hand up long. So thread the needle pose, but again, your ankles are still up here. So if you feel a lot of pressure on your neck, you might have your hips too far forward. So just make sure your hips are over your knees. And really breathe into your body here. Wherever you're feeling a stretch, breathe into that area. See if you can get it to relax. And 
and bring in your left hand back in, push yourself up, right hand comes out a little bit further, left hand underneath the right armpit, lower your shoulder down, stretch out your right arm. Again, keeping the ankles up nice and relaxed. Breathing into anywhere that you might feel some tension. Bring your right hand back in. Let's lower all the way down onto our elbows and then lower your hips. So you might want to shuffle yourself back if you've ended up quite far forward like me. Shoulders over the elbows and wrists in line with the elbows. Okay, so we're coming into our sphinx pose, but again, the knees are lifted. So ground down through the pelvis to lift the chest. So you should feel nice and strong here. You shouldn't just be sinking in and not feeling anything. Push the mat away with your elbows. Raise your chest. Look ahead. You should be feeling nice and strong here. All your muscles should be turned on apart from your lower legs and your feet. Take nice big inhales and exhales. Breathe into that chest. Nice little back bend here. And then coming all the way down onto our stomachs. You can rest your cheek on one side. Bring your arms in line with your body and just relax for a moment. And then lifting your head back up. We're going to keep the arms to the sides now. Thumbs are going to point down to the earth. Palms facing in towards your legs. Inhale, lift the chest. Stretch your hands back as if you could grab your toes. Stretch back as far as you can. Nice. Inhales and exhales. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Relax the jaw. And then relax, maybe this time putting the other cheek to the mat. And bring in the hands next to the chest. Push yourself up back onto your knees. Slowly walk around so that you can come back onto your bum without hurting your ankles, lower down onto your back, take the left leg out long, right leg's going to come high, grab behind the right thigh and just pull that leg into you, Pull it into you until you feel some kind of sensation. So your knee could be bent or your leg can be straight. If your leg's straight and you're a bit more flexible, maybe you can grab the upper leg. Grab wherever you can so that you can feel something here. You might get a little bit shaky, a little bit wobbly. That's absolutely fine. And then bending back into that right knee. Hug it in tight, send it out long, bring up the left leg, hug it in tight, and then send it up towards the sky, grabbing again either behind the thigh or behind the lower leg. Hug it in towards you until you feel some kind of sensation. And again, embrace the wobbles if you're feeling them. Bend into that left leg, hug it in tight. 
bring up the right leg with your feet close together, maybe not touching if that's going to aggravate your ankle, hands on knees, widen your hips, widen your knees apart so it's kind of like you're in a, a happy baby but a lower down version so instead of grabbing your outer feet you're grabbing your knees. Just opening up the hips here slightly, pulling your knees towards your top body. And taking your knees 90 degrees, lower them over to the left. Right hand comes out, either look up to the ceiling or look over your right shoulder. Maybe closing down the eyes. Just relaxing into this back twist. Knees back up to centre, drop them over to the right, either look up to the ceiling or stretch your left arm out and look over your left shoulder. Knees back up to centre. Take any last movements you need to here before lowering your legs, coming into Shavasana. So legs go long, feet flop open, palms face to the ceiling, tuck the shoulder blades under. Let your body get heavy. And just try to relax any tension from the body. So every inhale, feel as if you're gathering up that tension. Every exhale, feel it escaping your body, feel it releasing. Maybe inhaling down to your ankle that's hurting. Exhale that tension out of it. Just keep breathing like this for a moment. You can pause the video here if you'd like a longer shavasana. Or you can start wiggling your toes and your fingers. Slowly rolling over onto one side. Pausing for a moment just to reawaken your body. Pushing yourself back up to a comfortable seated position for you, whatever that means for your ankles. Blink open the eyes if you haven't done so already. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. I really hope that you got some benefit from this and hopefully it's shown you that you can still do some movement even if you do have an injury. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. Subscribe and if you like any longer classes, I have my membership. I have courses. They're all over on vStudio. I'll leave the link below. Namaste and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day.